Man, you know, I had a chance to uh, spend a lot of time on this field right here behind me. Football, basketball, multi-sport. I just love Argyle. I love the people of Argyle. And I really think that our families here can truly impact a lot of people's lives and impact the world. But the most important thing was that I felt like we could make disciples in Argyle. Someone told me, you know, one church can change the whole world. And as I thought about that, as much as I appreciate the idea, uh, for me, I thought, no, it's really uh, a ton of churches, a ton of bodies of believers. This was the entire idea from day one that, that Christ taught these disciples and then they scattered. Uh, at the same time, I had no intent to be a part of, of starting something else in a small town. But even though I can't figure out how to get my head around changing the whole world at the same time, I very much felt like we could, we could disciple all of Argyle. And so I had a real passion and zeal, and I was just sharing Jesus with friends and, and discipling friends. And as I was seeing that happen, they were discipling others. Uh, we had a tragic loss in our town. And that's what brought ACC really together. Uh, if you don't know, we lost a dear friend who I spent a lot of time for years uh, coaching with, doing life with, fishing with, hanging out with. When he passed, we began to ask each other questions. All of us coaches, all of us families, uh, our town came together. We started asking ourselves, what does it look like after this? You know, how do we know that we're right with God? And as people begin to lean on each other, something formed. A and people begin to say, maybe we should start something new. And I really thought, you know, well, the bases are probably covered. I'm already sharing Christ with so many friends. Like we got this done. But then I begin to think about the earlier statement that, that the church scatters. Uh, if everybody came to one church, we'd never win the whole world. And so we have to scatter. I think it's many bodies of believers that win the world. So I started looking for the authentic thing that was happening. And what we found was right here in Argyle, the, the actual community of Argyle has such a core of authentic people uh, of faith doing life together in Jesus' name. And I started seeing those seeds planted and it started changing lives. And then I realized like Acts 2, uh, we didn't try to do this. <laughs> it, it already existed. We just hadn't called it anything yet. Because in Acts, you know, we see they were breaking bread and they were in homes and they were sharing the, the, the apostles teaching and they were growing in their faith and that already existed. So we just thought, what do we call it? And that's why we intentionally called it Argyle Community Church. It has really been just the heart of Argyle coming together as a community and making more and better disciples. It's been an incredible movement to be a part of. This all began with Ron Horton. He's a friend of mine and he challenged me one day. He said, Tim, who have you discipled? And man, all of my answers were funny. They were from a stage forward. They were people I hung out with. I had a hard time explaining that. He said, Tim, you know, Matthew 28, it's a commission. It's not a suggestion. You're supposed to go out there and make disciples, which is a follower of Christ and see them baptized and, and then teach them to obey these commands to go make more disciples. How are you gonna do that? And I, I struggled for a minute and he said, what if I told you I had a material that if you had a day, a time and a place, you could make disciples and know exactly that you were fulfilling the Great Commission. And so I took him up on this and we started making many disciples. Uh, and that is really what began this movement. Almost everyone in this body of believers currently right now, men and women, are making more and better disciples. We meet all throughout the week, all throughout this community, and it's just become a tremendous movement of disciple making. And people say, well, how big is it gonna you know, be? What is Argyle Community Church gonna be? There, there's gonna be a lot of race to buildings and bands. We know that's, that's, that's easy for us to, uh, to know as part of what happens as churches grow, but that, that's not the idea for us. Our heart for this is actually just to steward the people God has put in this community that we can disciple this whole community. That, that's our goal. I don't care how big or small our gatherings are in just one location. I'm really sincere in the fact that I feel God has called us to make more and better disciples. And I want the culture and the zeal of this, what we share as a leadership team and, and as a church and a body of believers is a culture of uh, truly uh, of leaning into humility. The Bible says that God resists the proud 
He gives grace to the humble. Uh, we just want to steward well the relationships and lives of people that he's given us uh, in Argyle. And so through our sports communities where all this has really come together, uh, through the families in this town that were broken and hurting, God has built a bridge. And so we don't need to be propped up. Matthew 23, Jesus reminds us, be careful who you think is your teacher because we have the same teacher. That's the Father. Uh, that's the heart behind this. Uh, it's more comfortable for me to be called coach. If you gave me a title, it would put me on a pedestal. And that means not only are you looking up to me, then I would look down on you. And the ground is level at the foot of the cross. I, I pray to God that if people know us for anything, and get close, they find a sincere group of people that love God, are humble, and are willing to work to make more and better disciples. That's the heart of this church. So if you say, man, is this a place for me? Uh, if, if you're a place, or if you're a person that, that goes to work and, and then you come back to this small town for a purpose to do life with other believers, this would be a place for you. Uh, this is Argyle Community Church. It is truly a movement by Argyle, for Argyle. Uh, we believe God has called us as one Argyle to make more and better disciples. So if you're looking for a home, this may be a place that you'll find a home organically doing life with this community of believers right here in Argyle, Texas.